Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. 65 Cobra, you know, this is, uh, this is a replica built by Superformance. And one of the things about these kind of replicas like this is they're not kit cars. And the reason why I say that they're not kit cars is this car actually goes down an assembly line. It's built by the same craftsmen who build these same cars one after another, one after another, one after another. Not built by somebody in his garage, not that he's probably not talented, but not built by somebody in his garage who was its first time. And you know and I know that anytime you do something the second and third time, you're much better at it than you are the first time. So these guys have built thousands of cars. And that's why these cars have held their value so well, uh, is because the fit and finish is great, uh, the quality is nice, and there's no skimping on the car. You know, you get things like German black leather, you get wilt and wool carpets. The car comes with the Halibrands on it. And this car comes from South Africa just like this. What you do is you add your drivetrain to it. So for instance, like here, real knockoffs, four-wheel disc brakes, independent rear suspension, safety wired. Side pipes are, are ceramic coated. And the reason why that they, we do that is to keep them, uh, keep them from rusting. And it keeps them clean and makes them look nice for a really long time. Because otherwise you'd be polishing them uh, quite often. And here they're kind of maintenance free. Some of the other things I think about the car uh, that I like the fiberglass is, is a little thicker than, than any. And the paint that comes from them is just a great, great job. As a matter of fact, the paint is so spectacular. I'd like, kind of like to show you this if I could. Check this out for a second. Like, look at the mirror finish here. And that. You can read that word for word. I mean, you can see what time it is. And when you guys are looking on the internet on these cars, that's what you need to be looking for. You know, if the guy that you're looking at is not wanting to show you a video of the car and show you the detail, Right? And you can't see exactly in the pictures how, what kind of camera he has, what uh, he looks like, if he wears glasses, how many leaves are on the tree. That needs to be crystal clear because that's the quality of the paint. Anything less than that should be suspect. Here's, uh, here's a couple other features that you might look at when you're looking for a car uh, that shows you that maybe the owner of this car uh, liked his car or loved his car just a little more than someone else. For instance, this right here. This is a clear bra by 3M. And what they do is most people wrap it around here and around the sides, and if it had mirrors on it, uh, you would wrap it on those there too. And what it does is it keeps uh, the chip from happening in the paint. After this wears out or discolors after a little bit, you peel it off, perfect brand new paint underneath of it, and if you want to put another one back on, that way you don't have to worry about painting the car all the time. Down here is the oil cooler, which is kind of nice. Look at the size of that radiator. These cars are almost cartoonish. Like, look at that gaping hole uh, for the air to get in there. Almost aerospace engineered uh, fittings in here for the oil. Everything's a little bit overkill. It's funny though that this car started out as a little British sports car. Some guy said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put, a, uh, I'm gonna put an American V8 in it. And then you know what? The American V8's not enough. I'm gonna put a bigger American V8 in it. And it went from there and that's how Carroll Shelby uh, uh, was born. But what you really care about at the end of the day is really what goes under the hood. And what's interesting is because this car is small, you would think that a tiny little four-cylinder, which this car originally came with, is all that would fit in there. But check this out and come on in. First off, we're talking about a stroker motor in here. This thing makes 400 and uh, I believe it's 400, you know, unfortunately I got to read from it here. 525 horsepower is this car was dynoed at. I don't have the dyno sheets on it, so let's just say that it makes 400 horsepower. It makes 450 horsepower. That sounds like a lot of horsepower. It doesn't sound like, hu ho like huge horsepower, but the difference is this car weighs 2,500 pounds with 450 horsepower. A typical American sedan weighs another 1,000 pounds, almost 50% more. You would need another 200 horsepower or 300 horsepower just to equal the power to weight ratio. So this thing rolls on down the road. Nicely done in here, ceramic coated headers. We also have for you uh, the correct Cobra air cleaner if you want it, that goes on there and that's uh, we'll install. This, uh, I wanted to get this video done before we got the air cleaner on there, but if you look at the valve covers, it matches those. And it's a nice oval air cleaner that goes there. Come on down here for a second. Like for instance, like here, look at the spin-off oil filter, right? With braided lines, Ford Motorsport, eight millimeter, nine millimeter wires. This is kind of nice too, because it even labels the, uh, the cylinder numbers. So if you ever want to take them off and clean them or whatever, you know how exactly how they go on. Everything in here is nice. So we talked about the four-wheel disc brakes. This is not a car that you need power steering on. We talked about some of the cars that have power steering. These cars, because the front end is really light, because the whole car is light, like look how easy it is just parked to turn the wheel.
take a walk around the back for a minute. So we got our roll bar. This interesting roll bar here, you know, typically you see just the one roll bar over here. This is designed to take two people to the track if you wanted to. This is a really fun, fun vehicle to take to the track where you could take, a, uh, you know, one of your kids, your spouse or whatever, take some laps around the track in the car and you're safe. You got full seat belts in this car. You even got a sound system. I don't know how you're gonna hear it while you're at the track, but maybe just cruising around you do. It also has this, which is nice. And this is one of the things that sets the Super Performance Cobras apart from the rest, is it comes with uh, a soft top. So it comes with uh, a windows, uh, the side windows, uh, which have slides on them. It comes with a convertible top, and uh, this even came with a car cover. Here's the owner's manuals. This is the kind of car you want to buy, one that's taken care of, one that has uh, a good amount of money spent on the motor. Um, and it's sorted out, the clear bra on the front, you know what I mean? It's that kind of car. Uh, so if you wanted to, uh, you'd probably leave this at home. Uh, some soft luggage sits in the back here. You can go away for a whole weekend. Trunk super easy to work. Works like that. This right here, great styling piece. Has a locking gas cap inside. You know, for people that are like 6'1", 6'2", these cars have always been a little bit tight. These uh, particular ones, I'm talking about the original ones, this particular model here, the Super Performance car, uh, I find has a little bit more room. In this case here, what they do is they give you a bigger foot box. In the old days, the foot box was tiny. It was way over here because you had to get the transmission and big V8 engine in the car. Here they made a couple adjustments and although the car looks authentic, they've made some improvements here for drivability. Moto Lita wheel. It typically would have a wood rim wheel. This person here wanted a leather wrapped wheel. Maybe they felt that it was more comfortable for driving. You can always swap those out. Full gauges. And this is kind of cool too. Reverse counter speedometer. So it works from this way here so you can see it. Tachometer right in your face. And full gauges, all Smith's gauges too. Nice English gauges. There's a digital sound system that's hidden in the car. Not so much hidden, but not right in your face. Shifter's bent forward like it's supposed to be. A lot of people didn't know why that's there. Because the engine is set back in the car and there's not a lot of room in this car, they had to move the shifter this way. If the shifter, for instance, uh, if the shifter, like this is second gear, if the shifter was sitting up straight, it would be here. And you would end up hitting your elbow back here driving the car. So that's why they bent the shifter forward. This way, here's second, third, and fourth. Got reverse lockout. This car has wipers, it has heat. A lot of cars do not have any of that. It has the snaps in place for a tonneau cover, and the tonneau cover is kind of nice too, because then you don't have to put the soft top and stuff on, you just put the tonneau cover on. You decide you want to go for a drive, you just unzip this side, throw it underneath, and off you go. You know enough about the chit chat of the car, uh, let's hear what she sounds like. But what I'd like you to hear is how it sounds at idle, and also with a little gas on, because at idle it sounds fabulous too. So. Closing up the video on this car here, this is a quality, quality uh, piece that you that you can clearly see that somebody spent a lot of money on. From the clear bra to the upgraded five-speed transmission instead of four. You know, it's a 392 cubic inch stroker V8 making 525 horsepower instead of what typically people put in a 300 horsepower engine. Uh, it's got the real knockoffs that we talked about. It's got a heater. It's got a roll bar for two. So it's got uh, some different things and some money spent in the right places, and I think it's just uh, uh, a nice little cut above the rest. Anyway, if you can find a way to get this in your garage, it'll make an awesome, awesome addition. Call us 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.